What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to make some fried chicken bath bombs. That is right, you heard me right. Fried chicken bath bombs. You see bath bomb nowadays contain, you know, really nice flavors like mint or cherry or eucalyptus fruit. But the thing is, some people don't want to smell like that. Some people just want to smell like fried chicken. So what better way to bathe in fried chicken than to make a fried chicken bath bomb? That way you smell like fried chicken every day. You're going to smell delicious the whole entire day. So let me show you how to make it, all right? Of course, we need some fried chicken. And then right here, we have some sweet and spicy chicken rub, some baking sodas, citric acids, Epsom salts, a mixing bowl container, a mixing bowl container, a mixing bowl containers, some water inside a mixing bowl container, some coconut oil with some mixing bowl container, tiny version, a spoon, and a mixing bowl container. So here's what we're gonna do, all right? You gotta follow this measuring ingredients precisely or else you're not gonna smell like fried chicken. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take some baking soda. We're going to use five cups of baking soda, okay? Here we go. Here's two cups. Oh, look at that. And here you go. Here is five cups of baking soda. All right, next up, we're gonna need some Epsom salt. So you wanted to stab it like this one. We need two and a half cups of Epsom salt. Here we go. Okay, this is about two and a half cups, so pour it into the mixing containers. Now grab your citric acid. We need two and a half cups of this as well. So put it inside your mixing container. There you go. Just let it sizzle out. Put it inside your mixing container. Nice. Use your hands to moisturize, exfoliate, and beautify all these solid ingredients together, okay? You wanna make them combine. You wanna combine all these ingredients thoroughly. You want to make them best friends. All these three solid ingredients make them best friends. So together they are baking citric salts. <laughs> All right, once they have been mixturized, you want to grab your chicken seasoning, okay? From here, you just want to pour it, okay? There you go. That should be good to go. And now mix it, okay? It's like the foreign alien has invaded the privacy of the other solids. Now just add a little bit more chicken <laughs> seasoning. Make sure you grain it up. You want to make it tiny little particles of it. More chicken seasoning. Ooh. Oh, smell that? It smells like chicken. <laughs> All right, now we have our solid ingredients done. You want to grab some liquid ingredients now. You need these liquids to stick everything together like glue. We need five teaspoons of H2O. One, two, three. You hear that sizzle? That's the chicken. <laughs> five. And now what you want to do is mix it. Make sure you mix it well, make it a little bit liquidy, but not very liquidy. You want to make that stick. You want to make it really nice. So basically from here, you want to make it so you can mold it together like Play-Doh. Now grab some coconut oil. You want to put 15 teaspoons of this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, mix it all up. Oh, you see that consistency? You can see how it's starting to mold just a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right, once you have lathered your fingers across this mixture, it should be good enough to mold like this. You can mold it pretty easily like a little bath bomb right here. So when you do put it into a body of water, it will do its bath bomb things like that. You see? You see that? Smells like chicken. <laughs> now grab your uh, mixing containers. We have two hemispherical mixing containers. Don't fill it up all the way because we are gonna do some other stuff with it. Make sure you coat the perimeter, the outer shell. Now grab your fried chicken. This is the critical part of it. Put it right in the center, okay? So when this bath bomb dissolves, you're gonna see some fried chicken inside. That is what I'm talking about right now. Like you really wanna try your best to smell like the fried chicken all right you want to cover the chicken up right here perfecto perfect that is how i like it look at the bath bomb it's still doing it and it's smelling like chicken press down so you get all the little gaps you want to make sure you glue up all the little gaps in here so it's really really tight and really really amazing like barack obama says what you do one side you do to the other so let's get this one do the same process here coat the outside of it oh look at that you can see little chunks of chicken seasoning right there i can already tell this is going to be a really great bath bomb it's looking nice make sure you coat that outer shell because if you don't you're gonna have a little bit of chicken legs protruding out of this all right now it's time to grab your fried chicken here mm. 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 Are good 
put it in here. Look at that. Now just bury it into this right here. Make sure you have no chicken protruding out of this bath bomb, because if you do, that's not good. Now once you get your mixing containers filled with bath bombs, chicken seasoning, and fried chicken, last thing to do is just to put it together like this. Press it down so the two hemispherical containers will just stick to one another. So when you actually do take off the top half, it's stuck to the bottom half. There you go, perfect. Press it down. And now, wait eight hours until it dries. I'll see you guys in the bathtub. All right, hello everybody. It's been exactly eight hours, so the bath bomb should be completely dry. And uh, I'm dressed like a chicken, cause you know, fried chicken bath bomb, fried chicken guava juice. <laughs> Oh yes, there you go. It's a little bit cracked on top, but you know, it's still a bath bomb. It's still really solidified. The hard part is getting the bottom piece out. It smells like chicken! <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm gonna smell like a chicken. <laughs> um, a good way to do this is to actually crack the styrofoam. That's why we do it in a styrofoam to begin with, because it's really, really easy to crack. We have a fried chicken bath bomb. Check that out. The seasonings around it, you see the peppers, the good stuff. But the best thing about this is what's in the center of it. So let's get in the bathtub real quick. Get my chicken costume. <laughs> Here we go, let's do this. But I gotta do this in a really fashionable manner. Fashionable as in what? What are you talking about? What do chickens do? They lay eggs. Come on, 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 ah! Look at it go! Look at the chicken seasoning going. Wow. Wow, what is that? It's a chicken wing. There's a chicken wing in the center. That is crazy. So let's keep going. Wow. I'm seriously gonna smell like a chicken. Look at this chicken leg. Look at this chicken leg. That's a chicken. <laughs> Let's keep going. Dude, look at all the seasoning coming out. Like if you really, really want to smell like a chicken, this is the best way to do it. Seriously, look at that. And you can eat the chicken legs while you take a bath. That is so amazing. It's doing the bath bomb things, as you can see, but it's doing it as a fried chicken. Have you ever seen a fried chicken do bath bomb stuff? No, no, you have not. This is so cool. Look at it. I'm gonna re-emerge it. Look at that. Fried chicken everywhere. That is so cool. Tastes like fried chicken. I am a chicken eating a chicken. <laughs> but yeah, really simple, really easy. That is how you make fried chicken bath bomb. You have the chicken aroma, all the essential oils of the chicken going to your skin. Cause you have all that protein. We have all that aminos going into your skin. Look at that. We have a piece of chicken floating right now. Hey, what's up mister? Not bad. <laughs> it's a little bit soggy, but it's not bad. You ever play that game where you get a whole bunch of food in your mouth underwater? I'm gonna do that. That's all I gotta tell you. That is how you make fried chicken bath bomb bath bomb bath. I'm gonna walk to the store later and I'm gonna buy some chicken and they're gonna be like, oh, it smells like chicken. I'm like, yeah, that's me. I smell like chicken. <laughs> that's kind of gross. <laughs> Alright everyone, thank you for watching today's chicken bath or fried chicken bath bomb video. If you want to try it yourself, do it. I seriously want to see someone try this out. Alright, let me know what you want me to put inside my bath bomb next. I'll see you guys later. Stay juicy.